So in this particular skill, we uh, find our athlete again in a supine position, but we're gonna use the preferred method, which is the lift and slide. So we're gonna actually lift the athlete up and slide the board from underneath. Uh, this uh, minimizes as much movement as we possibly can to uh, the head and neck area. Uh, but what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that uh, we have enough people that are trained to actually be able to do this skill. So this skill requires at least eight people, uh, three on each side, one person responsible for the board, and one person responsible at the head for the uh, stabilization. Again, when we find the athlete, we're gonna check for uh, vital signs, uh, see if he has any uh, breathing or cardiac issues that we would manage uh, before we uh, handle the spinal trauma. We'd wanna make sure that we access and call 911. So I'm gonna come in and provide my inline stabilization. Uh, we've got our other assistants that come in to be able to um, help. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna come from all the way up underneath uh, the athlete with their arms and make sure that they are fully secured um, under his entire body. On the count of three, I'm gonna say one, two, three, lift. And on lift, I'm going to, they're gonna lift the individual only six inches off the ground so that way the board can come fully in and touch basically my knees. And then I'm gonna say one, two, three, down, and we're gonna lower the athlete directly onto the board. All right, is everybody understand and ready? One, two, three, lift. The board slides underneath. One, two, three, down. So that allows us to put him directly centered on the board. We can apply our straps, the shoulder, the waist, and the legs. One option that if you have them for securing the helmet is to do something called helmet huggers. So what they're gonna do is as I'm stabilizing the head and neck, those are gonna come in, they're blocks that go on either side of the helmet. That just helps provide a little bit more security of the helmet um, as we strap it onto the board. So the head strap is gonna come in, get secured directly onto the board. And that allows the, um, his, his helmet to stay in a much more secure position. If you don't have those, another thing that you can actually do is you can take towels and kind of pack towels underneath any open gaps, which is gonna provide you a nice, safe, secure position so the helmet doesn't move. Once he's ready to go, then we can actually look to transport them. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna lift the athlete. So we've got enough individuals to be able to lift there's handles on either side of the board, so we want to make sure that we've got equal uh, people on either side to be able to lift. Same thing in terms of rolling and uh, lifting to put him on the board. We're going to communicate by saying one, two, three, lift. We want to get in a nice kind of power lifting position by placing our uh, one knee up. We're going to grab hold of the board and make sure that we've got him good and secure. On the count of three and lift, we're going to go one, two, three, lift. Now we can actually uh, transport this athlete anywhere that we want to, ideally moving foot first as opposed to head first, and we can transfer him directly onto the stretcher or directly into the ambulance.